So let's take a moment right now to have a look around the cross the ship because on this particular one, well, you can Here see go. how gorgeous Fantastic. it is. Um, so, um, thanks to Shane there, that's fantastic. Okay, so we're, we're there with Costa. This is an Italian cruise line, it's part of the Carnival fleet, um, and this is your chance to have a wonderful international cruising experience. You're going to meet people from all over the world. Um, Costa, known for big, glamorous spas yeah. where you can get every single treatment under the sun. They're known for great Mediterranean dining where they reflect the different flavors of the Mediterranean every night. Um, you're getting an idea here of the kind of relaxing a chance for you to go and sit in a hot tub out on deck and soak up the sun, surrounded by these wonderful, um, good-looking Italians and Mediterranean people. You know, if you think about all the things to do with, with, with Italy and think about the glamour and the sophistication of Italy and then reflect that back into ships, that's what you get here. Now again, a great selection of different restaurants. You can go and dine just for the two of you, have something intimate and romantic. You can take the whole family. You can even sit in your cabin, order some room service, sit on your own balcony and watch the waves go past as you as you soak up some of the sun it's a great opportunity to spoil yourself um, and again that famous yellow funnel is yeah. all part of Costa Cruises yeah I had six years with them and I really really enjoyed it it's a, it's a really fun atmosphere you know the Italians are very very warm so I'm sure you're going to enjoy it let's take a moment to go right onto that itinerary so you can see because it's an amazing yeah, itinerary this, this is stunning and this is the this is the one which is 44 pounds per person per night yeah heading well, out let's, of let's just say that again it is 44 pounds per person per night, and you've only got to put a deposit down on it tonight. It's absolutely amazing. So you're cruising out of Venice. That alone is an incredible start as you head out past St. Mark's, past all the gondolas, uh, and past the Vaporettos, and then you're heading down uh, the Adriatic. Uh, your first port of call is Barry. It's situated in the heel of the boot uh, of, of the country. It's famous for its beaches, its old town, and fabulous food, and a chance to go to Sassy, where Mel Gibson set his film The Passion of the Christ. Then you're going to Corfu. I've already talked about Corfu, but a beautiful big Mediterranean island. Um, and then you're heading to a great port that I love so much, Malta. Um, the mm. port is Valletta. It was built by the Knights of St. John, the Hospitallers. Sailing into this grand harbour is like sailing into uh, a Game of Thrones or Lord of the Rings mm. setting. It's yeah. absolutely stunning. And you can actually head into the old town of Medina, which is still walled. It's called the Silent City because no cars are allowed. You can head out to the Blue Grotto. But the views from the upper Baraka Gardens that you're seeing here are absolutely stunning. And you can go to the bar uh, where Oliver Reed had his last ever order. And it's written up on the ball, uh, on, on the wall. It's called Ollie's Last Bar, of course, because he sadly passed away while filming Gladiator here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Naples is next. I've already talked about it, so we'll move on. Savona. This is a fabulous location, uh, and it's set between a sunny bay uh, and the sea and the Ligurian Alps, and it's overlooked by this imposing fortress. A uh, great chance for you to go through to Nice, Monaco, Portofino, and Genoa. They're all accessible from this port. Then we're going through a laxing day at sea before you go to Morocco. Fantastic new continent, Casablanca. We all know the famous film with Humphrey Bogart, yeah. Ingrid Bergman. Your chance now to stroll the beaches, to see the French colonial architecture, maybe to go and haggle in the souk, or head out to the imperial cities of Rabat and Marrakesh um, and see a belly dancer or maybe a snake charmer and the smell of incense on the air. Okay, we're then going through to the Canary Islands. 365 days, sorry, 355 days of sun in a year. And uh, they're incredible. That's pretty amazing. It isn't is it? pretty incredible. The first one is Lanzarote. It's 70 miles off the coast of Africa. It's the most northernmost of the Canary Islands. Yeah. It's almost the hottest. It's often described as Luna, and you yeah. can see why. Yeah. And they filmed the 1970s science fiction series Planet of the Apes here. Mountains of fire. Uh, what you're seeing there, a chance to take a camel ride through them, big solidified dormant mountains uh, looking over these huge lava fields. Uh, really good fun to do that. And if you get a chance, go to Cesar Manrique's home, which is built out of lava bubbles. It's incredible. Wow. Very Austin Powers. Uh, then you're going through to Santa Cruz, Tenerife. It's the largest of the Canary Islands. It's probably the most scenically stunning island in the world. It's dominated by the over 12,000 foot Mount T, the highest mountain in Spain. It's a whole national park which you can explore. Look at that coastline. It's so beautiful. That's Mount T itself. You can take the funicular up and you can hike back down. Uh, head to the military museum in, in Santa Cruz where you dock and you've got uh, the cannon which shot off Admiral Lord Nelson's arm in 1793. Ouch, I did not know oh, that. Oh yes, it's all, all happening there. A uh, little bit of black <laughs> sand beaches and again, wow. great chance to relax on the beaches. If you're with the family, go to Loro Park, you're going to see a picture of it next. You can go and see dolphins either in the wild out on a, on a, on a, on a cruise around the island or go to Loro Park to see them. Um, in the habitat. Okay, then we're going through relaxing days at sea before we go to the Caribbean. Yeah, wow, brilliant. what an what an itinerary yeah, this is! It's a amazing. 
oppositional Maybe. cruise. St. John's, this boasts one of the Caribbean's most spectacular coastlines. Uh, they've got a beach for every day of the year. My favourite is Darkwood up the top end. You can take the bus, it's only a dollar all the way up. Uh, really beautiful. Do a canopy zip line adventure and you can also Go to Shirley Heights for great views over Nelson's Dockyard, which you can visit if you love your history. Then we're going for a relaxing day at sea before we go to the Dominican Republic, Catalina Island. Basically, the whole ship decamps to a private beach. They get all the bars off there. All that beach is private. It's just you and your ship there. They set all the bars up. You can use your bar card. Uh, you can have cocktails and use all your bar card on, on there. They do Amazing. a big barbecue and you relax on this private paradise. It's brilliant. Then the next day, you're in Dominican Republic proper in La Romana. This is your chance to go through the 16th century old quarter, which was first settled by Christopher Columbus. So like some of the history book with cobbled streets and ornate Spanish churches. And also to get a real flavor of the Dominican Republic with these noisy street markets and haciendas and cigar shops. Then we're going through finally to Grand Turk. It's the capital of the Turks and Caicos. Uh, this is like stepping back to the Caribbean 40 years ago. Best thing to do here is, is to just walk the beaches and go to the Gibbs Cay, which is the home of the stingray encounter, where you can actually hold the stingrays, feed them calamari, and have a moment with these beautiful aquatic animals. I absolutely, I mean, I did it myself several times. Nothing beats it, apart from cuddling a koala. <laughs> it, is, it is amazing, isn't it? I mean, what Stunning. I love about this itinerary is you, you, it's like getting two cruises. You've got that cruise around the Med, then you've got a cruise around the Caribbean. Yeah, and look at the continents you're doing as well. And the fact then you're going back to Fort Lauderdale after a relaxing day at sea, and then we transfer you once you get off the ship to Sawgrass Mill, because your flight's in the evening, but you go to Sawgrass Mill. The great thing about this is it's a great place to relax. Oh, is that that gorgeous? It's a giant shopping really, mall, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a really big bespoke designer outlet centre where yeah. you can go great shopping. Yeah, and we're giving, as part of a deal, um, th th there's $500 worth of savings in a booklet we're giving you. So if you want to go shopping, oh, right. you can do that and you can make some great savings whilst also having, having some great food and, and then getting your flight back. So you get a chance to enjoy a little bit of Miami as well. Now I think when we talk about you know, this is under £44 per person per night, you may be thinking, well, what's the ship like? Let's have a look at the ship because you're going to be at, look at this, come on. It's like going to a five-star hotel, yeah. but you get a silly, silly price. And those are hot, those are hot stone beds as well that you just saw there. Yeah. Um, you know, it's really beautiful. And you can do you couples, couples massages as well, Paul, you know, for you and the missus. <laughs> Go there and both get, both get massaged at the same time. <clears throat> What'd you say to that? I'm not saying anything. No. I'll, get, I'll get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I had six years on this line, and I absolutely loved every second of it. It is fantastic. Come on, let's go through what's included, because I'm sure anyone watching that can, I can't believe it's 44 quid a night. <gasps> it really, really Look is. at that single price there, Paul. That 1679 for solo travellers. That's brilliant as well. Yeah, because what happens generally is you pay twice as much. In this case, you can see it's a lot less than that. Uh, as Keith just told you, you can get it $500, uh, not, not pounds, but $500 worth of savings when you go to Sawgrass Saw Mills Mall. Uh, of course, you've got your flights, you've got your overseas transfers included, and of course, if you would like other airports, just talk to the team, that phone number's there at the bottom of the screen. But when you bear in mind, under £44 per person, like, what sort of hotel would you get in the UK? And of course, that includes your food, it includes your entertainment. Your ID number, write down the ID number of this one. This has got to be a consideration. And it's like cruising the Met, and then getting to cruise the Caribbean. It's like two cruises, and in £44 per person, 84854 is your ID number for that particular one. Let me go through the prices for you so you can actually see those. So in fact, there's a price rule. This is the 400 show for Planet Cruise. So they're gonna be six lucky winners that will get to join us right here at ID World. You get a, st a studio tour. You get to have a buffet lunch with Sean and Keith, who's a regular on the show. And of course, you've got the opportunity of doing all of that by going to our website, idworld.tv. But put the additional bit on, forward slash planet hyphen cruise hyphen holidays. And you don't have to have been on a cruise, you just need to tell us why you love Planet Cruise TV, why you love watching all of these shows. 